If you notice a change in the screen, it's because the camera fell over and I had to re-record uh, a little bit of it. So I want to resume what I was doing, getting this other wheel on there. thing about a trailer is it uh, it's up in the air it's not flat on the ground uh, I just go ahead and put on all five lug nuts lightly and then uh, tighten down two so I can put some weight on it You know, think about a on a trailer. You don't have a lot of uh, room to work. And uh, I'm surprised that camera hadn't fell over yet, <laughs> like it did when I started this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and snug them all down. Sorry about the dead air, but that's what it is. Got my hand, not not with air tools out here at the end of my driveway. Um, not going to bring a, an air operation out here or run 200 feet of cord to my front gate. So I'm going to use a hand tool like I normally do. So that's snug. Now we'll see if this tire will hold the weight of the car. And I'll just uh, take it all slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anybody got a guess of what happened? Got my jack handle stuck inside the frame of the car, so now I can't move the handle. Let's see. Okay. It's bound up pretty good. Uh, weight of the car still in the jack, so it's not going to budge forward. It's inside the sleeve in the loose position, so I might be able to turn it with a pipe wrench and get it back to where I can pump it up. I don't know if any of y'all have as much tools as I have. Looks like this is going to be able to turn that that handle. I'm turning the uh, turning. You can see this little sleeve here. I'm turning the handle to put it back in the uh, raise mode. I just barely took the the pressure off of it, so that might be enough to jack it up if I can get this handle. And this is not really a, a strong piece of metal right here that it's bound up on but it is bound up on it. Uh, it looks like it just holds the, the tail panel where the, head, the lights are, so it's not even important. And something that could be straightened if I ever use this frame for anything, or I could just find another one in the junkyard. Oh, look at there. They, not only did they, they tack welded the ends to it. Not the greatest looking job there. Well, let's see. I've already jacked this up once. I'm still in good condition there. Uh, let's see if I can get some. Oh, it's really bound in there. Good. All right. So I don't even know if that tire is holding the pressure, the, the weight of the car. And that was the, the idea of this, have the jack under it, just in case it doesn't hold. It's not a much better tire than the one I had. This is all just to get it off the trailer. All the other tires I have are a little wider, a little taller. This is the shortest tire I had. A, one, a 195 
75, 14 or something like that. Oh, okay. I think I can probably try and take some of this out here. I can't see what I'm doing, but there you go, yeah. What I did is I, I used to be take this up here and show you. You can see the, the handle is stuck on this piece of uh, channel. So when I put my pipe wrench up there that I've already tightened up the tightened it up with, and I can't hold the phone and do this. I'm just gonna twist that piece of channel and that should release that handle. And it did. A little bit more. Ugh. I believe that handle went up when the weight started getting into the car to the leaving the jack. Now see, now it's free. I'll bring it back up here and show you. Now it's free, it's not bound up in there. And I was not going to put my hand up in there <laughs> and try and stop it. I don't think everybody has to have as many tools laying around as I do. But that was pretty handy having that. So, back to what I was doing. I meant to lower this jack with the handle horizontal to the jack, not <laughs> up in the air. But there was a lot of gap. So here we go again. Let's check this tire will hold the weight of the car. Well, it sure doesn't want to. There you go. All right, now the weight is on that tire. I'll give it a. I'm going to leave the jack in place and just put it back in tightening mode and just put a tiny bit of. Well, I don't want pressure on it. All I really have to do is have the jack under the differential in case this thing goes. Man. And I don't want this handle to go up in the air again, so I'm going to put the weight of the pipe wrench on it. It's going to hang the weight of the pipe wrench. It seems like when I twist the, uh, the release to, to get the jack out, this handle wants to go straight up in the air. And I really want to make sure that that tire holds the weight of this car. So, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching.